hello and welcome to the Herald Gaming channel. Today, thanks to the generosity of my Patreons, I continue my Guild Wars 2 weapons series with my personal top 10 axes. There are links below to the wiki for all the weapons and outfits shown here today. Much love to all those who maintain that site. You are all heroes to me. Now, as ever, beauty is very much in the eye of the beholder, so I would love for you to share your personal top 10 or just top axis skins that you love in the comments below, or you can even share them with me at Crichton underscore Herald on Twitter, and I will share your eye candy with the rest of the community. So, let's jump into some good old fashioned Guild Wars 2 eye candy, starting with the Defiant Glass Axe. This stunning work of art is available on the trading post for around about 40 gold and is part of the Defiant Glass weapon set. Now, there is a link in the top right hand corner of your screen to a full showcase of all these beauties. I highly recommend it. This weapon is just a shattered stained glass work of art. I love it. Let me know what you think below. Endless Ocean Axe. The Endless Ocean weapons are a fairly recent addition to the game. This axe skin will set you back around about 40 gold on the trading post. The colors and effects and design of this weapon, all the weapons in the Endless Ocean series are gorgeous. It's a beautiful set, I hope you give it some time, and it's not too horrifically priced on the trading post either. Let me know what you think of the Endless Ocean weapons in the comments. The Equinox Axe. I'm a big fan of the whole Equinox weapon series. It's simply lovely and the axe with its asymmetrical head and animated globe is a pleasure to behold. This cutie will set you back around 100 gold on the trading post, but I think it's worth every penny. This golden, almost Egyptian-esque axe is a guardian weapon linked to the Guardian's Elite specialization, Firebrand, and is rewarded for completing the Ascended Weapons collection, which is part of that Elite. If you want this beautifully detailed axe, you will need to own a Path of Fire, and goodness me, there are links below if you'd like to use my referral link, which directly helps the channel. Plug, plug. Anyway, moving on. If you have followed my top 10 series, you will have seen many glacial weapons, and here you see the axe. I just couldn't leave it out, it's too beautiful. It's not only beautiful, it is actually thematic and totally appropriate to deck yourself out in before Jomag comes to kill us all. Yay! Glacial weapons are quite popular, so this bad boy will set you back a hundred and thirty gold, thereabouts. This is one of the Amberite fossilized weapons, which you unlock via the collection of unidentified fossil insects from dry top buried locked chests, which spawn on that map during sand storms. Once you have your unidentified fossilized insect popped to Ghent, an Asura at the Restoration Refuge to unlock the weapon recipe of your choice. Now, you will need to have the prerequisite crafting skills. Each year, from the date that you create a character, that character will receive a birthday gift from ArenaNet just because they're nice. For the 5th, 6th and 7th birthdays, those gifts include a choice of two of the luminous weapons. Side note, you only get these special gifts once per account. It doesn't matter how many veteran avatars you have. Hillrender is another Path of Fire Elite specialization unlock, this time for the Mesmer and its Mirage Elite specialization. This again is the ascended variant of the Mesmer weapon and is completed by that said same 14 item collection. Now this is just a stunning looking weapon and if particle effects are your bag, well this one is a real beauty. So if you don't have a Mesmer, this is a fantastic excuse to make one. 
If you're into that Lovecraft vibe, we have been promised for Ice Brood Saga. Yummy, give me those dark tentacles. But if you do not know anything about Lovecraft, links to my Lovecraft v Guild Wars 2 video in the top right hand corner of your screen. This angry but very cute tentacle boy is dropped from trick or treat bags. Or head over to the training post, spend five gold and give this toothy boy a forever home. We end the top 10 with the Mist Cleaver, a crafted ascended weapon, one of the three weapons whose recipes are sold by Zai of the Lost, a mist walker who jumps from map to map. Links below so that you can find him. Now please note, to access this vendor, you will need to have a level 80 revenant on your account. You don't actually have to go to the chap with your revenant, but you must have one on the account max level. So, we come to the end, that's my top 10 axes. I could have easily made a top 20, so do please let me know which axes you loved, which axes you loathe, and share with me your favorite axes in the comments below. And whilst you're down there, please do like, share, subscribe, and do please show some love to Molini, Jason Venter, Christopher Martin, Cub, Jolly Joe Star, Shane Jones, Kyle Nelson, Cody, Kildare, Dark Griever, and all my wonderful Patreons, without whom I would be unable to dedicate the time and resources I do to my content creation. Couldn't do it without you guys, thank you so much. If you would like to join them for early access content and chatters with me for what that's worth, then there are links below. And if you feel inspired to jump into the Guild Wars 2 universe to collect some of these beautiful skins, there are referral links in the description below too to the free-to-play game and the Path of Fire which now includes all the content from the Heart of Thorns expansion too. It's a great deal. And using any of these referral links directly supports my channel thanks to the generosity of ArenaNet and their partner program, of whom I am a proud affiliate. Now I hope you will come back and join me again soon for more Guild Wars 2 Top 10s. Next time we will be diving into the focus of Fokai. So expect lots of whips and chains for that one. If you play Guild Wars 2, you know that that's not a kinky comment. Anyway, until then, as always, thank you so much for watching.